If you drove through Burlington's New North End this summer, you likely saw Will Klingenpeel, spray paint in hand, decorating a small, unassuming building at 1416 North Avenue. Today, a massive yellow eyeball against a tie-dye background makes the place impossible to miss. Public art is a kind of all-encompassing way to speak to anyone in the community without using words. Klingenpeel and a handful of others from Aerosol Art Group Ant Hill Collective created the piece for the Odd Fellows Lodge, which reopened on Sunday. The mural includes nods to North Avenue, like Ethan Allen Tower, combined with community-centric visuals to honor the Odd Fellows. It's kind of a nice blend of that that makes it approachable to everyone from kids to adults to Odd Fellows. Founded in 1845, Burlington's Odd Fellow Lodge is a fraternal organization dedicated to community gathering and support, including mutual aid. In recent years, the lodge has kept a low profile. The demographic for a long time was uh, old white guys, and uh, no shame to them, but they just didn't keep up very well. This year, the lodge turned a new leaf. 20 new members came aboard, inspired by a post-COVID desire for in-person connection. Kensington says the influx has revitalized the group. Younger people have put this lodge back together, discovered its traditions, and um, find that it really answers a need in this particular community. The mural is just one aspect of the new and improved lodge. The community hall, used for punk concerts in the lodge's heyday, will soon host more public and private events. Downstairs, the lodge's north end pantry will continue to offer free food, clothing, and sanitary goods. The Odd Fellows estimate at least 60 weekly pantry visitors and hope to serve more as the lodge continues to grow. Kensington says these kinds of services are sorely needed in the new North End. This side of town needs a facility that someone can hire for a wedding, that somebody could uh, have an anniversary at. The Odd Fellows say they are always welcoming new members and meet every first and third Tuesday of the month. Reporting in Burlington, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 News.